Before we get started with today's video, you guys notice anything different about me? Yup, your boy's got some facial hair now. I didn't think it was possible, but guys, we did it. I finally hit puberty! And it only took me 10 years after high school. So, a while ago, I made a video of me reacting to a multi-million dollar mansion. I think it was like, the mansion was $88 million. To this day, I still think that's crazy. I had a lot of fun making that video, and for some reason, I don't know why, I love house tour videos. Why do I like looking at houses I know I can't afford? The house tour video that I found is called Inside a $195 million estate. I want you to think about something. Jeff Bezos could buy this house 10 times and it would not put a dent in his bank account. But without further ado, let's start watching. Welcome to Chartwell, one of the most incredible, iconic properties in all of Los Angeles, if not all of California. It's situated on 10.4 acres with views. Time out, time out. Are, are, are you seeing this? No, no, no. Are we, are, are we watching the same video? This is not a house. This is an island. <laughs> On 10.4 acres with views from downtown Los Angeles all the way to the Pacific Ocean. The estate features an authentic French chateau with six bedrooms and 13 baths, complete with canyon trails and golf cart paths, the secret tunnels. The secret tunnel? Is Batman moving in? <laughs> Might as well. I don't know who else can afford this. <laughs> You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> My father! So one thing I've noticed about these gigantic houses, because there's so much property, it takes forever just to drive up the entrance. So by the time you get to your front door, you've already wasted like a half a tank of gas. <laughs> pool and pool house, the tennis court, the French gardens, the garden pavilion, the Redwood Grove, the 40 car motor gallery, the 12,000 bottle wine cellar, the Koi Pond stream, and to top it all off, a five bedroom Wallace Neff guest house. I'm sorry, did they just say their guest house has five bedrooms? Is it even a guest house at that point? This is why rich kids are always so lonely because their parents buy these big ass houses <laughs> and they just never see their children again. Daddy, will you play with me? No, get the fuck out the room. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, e Elon, 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 Elon. So basically what you're telling me is I'm not getting my Tesla this week. So then when am I gonna get it? I guess I'll wait till Friday. I guess I'll drive the Lambo again. Get your shit together, Elon. Jesus Christ. Okay, look at this screenshot that I took. Who's mowing this guy's lawn? You'd need like a whole army just to get the top half done. How's cleaning? How's cleaning? I cut lawn, then I clean floor, then I give you a happy ending? Okay, we talk about happy ending. When you drive up Bel Air Road, you come to the most amazing stone wall that has these gorgeous lollipop trees in front of them. This Do you know how rich you have to be to have a whole highway <laughs> in, your, <laughs> in your backyard? And now we've arrived in the foyer. An elegant, sophisticated space with beautiful staircases, limestone and black marble flooring. The thing that always fascinated me about these houses, you know, when you buy a home, you buy it to live there, right? But these houses, they always look like art pieces, like they're meant to be in a museum. Whoa, 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 Bill, 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 take your shoes off before you walk on my $100,000 marble floor. What is wrong with you? Poor people make me sick. Puh. Disgusting. This ballroom also doubles as a screening room as well. The panels slide open, revealing huge speakers. And at the push of a button, the screen comes down. Is it like that at your house? Because it's not like that at mine. Did he just flex on us? Well, one day I'm gonna buy this house but first I gotta find 195 million dollars and then I'll be I'll be good to go after that. 
These houses go for millions of dollars and the living room always looks like crap. Not even kids in sweatshops would ever touch that furniture. And here we arrive at the Grand Fountain. Huge in size. And when you look up at the facade of the home, you see the- Yo, look at the size of this hill. Yo, if you fall down, you are definitely dying. No if, ands, or buts. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you the next time I upload. Peace.